Hi, my name is Rena Vacone and I'm the founder and CEO of PassionFit and I'm so thrilled to be bringing you our eighth video series for YouTube. Be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on our latest wellness and workout videos launching on a regular basis. Today, we're gonna to be doing a family fitness workout. And speaking of which, I'd like to introduce you to mine, starting with my older son. Do you wanna tell everyone your age and what you do for sports and fitness? Hi, I'm 13 years old. I'm in eighth grade and I play competitive soccer and basketball. And I'd also like to introduce you to my younger son. Do you want to tell everyone about yourself? Hi, I'm 10 years old and I'm in fourth grade and I play competitive soccer and basketball. And then I'd also like to introduce you to my husband. What do you do for sports and fitness? Hey everyone, uh, for working out I love to do hit classes, ride my Peloton and then ride my road bike and mountain bike outside. And I also teach hit and strength training as well as yoga, Pilates and dance classes. So because we are all active in fitness and sports, it's definitely been challenging for us and probably all of you over the course of this last year in the pandemic to be active and to be able to work out at the gym. So we wanted to bring you this workout video series so you could bond with your family and also stay active. And if you have kids who are playing sports like ours, this is a great conditioning workout for them. So you don't need any equipment, just an exercise mat and your own body weight. Um, also make sure to have water so you can hydrate. And if you need to modify, feel free to look at Matt. My husband actually injured his knee, so he's gonna be doing the modifications for us for today. And if you or anyone in your family has any injuries or health concerns, just be sure to check with your doctor before doing this workout video. With that, are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, let's go! Let's go. <laughs> All right, we are gonna begin our warm up. So we're gonna start with a big deep breath. Inhale, bend your knees, and exhale, bend your knees. Come on up again, big deep breath, and exhale. Let's do a few more, big deep breath up, exhale, and again. Let's do two more, all the way up, stretch, lift your torso tall, and now we're gonna go into a lunge. So you clasp your hands together, and we're gonna to start to the right and left. So I want you to tuck in your core. Make sure that your knees are staying behind your toes. You're pointing your bottom back and we're just starting to warm up our lower body. Make sure to tuck in your core and start to feel a stretch in your inner thighs, in your hips, in your hamstrings. So it's very important to warm up, especially for kids before they play sports. Let's do four more, three, keep it up. Two, good job you guys, one more. And now we're gonna pivot. So you wanna pivot and bend your knees, tuck in your core, your hands are at chest level. Good job. Side to side. Good, really get that stretch in the lower body. And let's do four more. Good job, three. Keep it up for two. Drop that lower knee, one more. And then we're gonna go into some jogs. So start to pick up your feet. I want you to relax your shoulders, keep them down and away from your ears. Good, relax your arms. And we're slowly starting to get the heart rate up. So this is where we start to get our cardio going. You wanna to start to really feel some heat in your body. And let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And let's go into some high knees. So hands out and tuck in your core, bring those knees to your chest. Stand nice and tall, good job. Try to find your balance. And let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And now bring your feet down. Facing forward, you're gonna reach down, bend your knees and reach up. So I want you to stretch those hamstrings a little bit more. Elongate your torso and spine. Good. And let's do four more. Three, keep it up, watch your knees. One more, and big deep breath in. From the top, exhale down, one more. And deep breath, all right. Great job, everyone, that completes our warm up. So stay tuned for block number one. We will see you soon. All right, we are gonna be starting block number one. So to begin, we are gonna do some lunges. So you wanna start with your feet together. You wanna to tuck in your core, and we're gonna start on our left leg. So here we go. So you're gonna lunge back, together, back, together. So when you're lunging, you really wanna drop that back knee towards the ground. Your front knee stays behind your toes, and you're really opening up your hip flexors here. 
A lot of times adults and kids can get really tight in the hips. So this is a great hip opener. It also really strengthens your legs and it starts to get your heart rate up. Good job, you guys. Let's do eight more. We go left, together, right, together. Nice deep lunges. Give me four more right here. Four, excellent, three. Keep it up for two. One more and shake it out. So we're all gonna step over to the left side of our mat and we're gonna do some basketball shuffles or soccer shuffles or whatever sport you play. So we're gonna go four steps to our right and four to the left. Are you all ready? Yeah. In four, three, two, here we go. We shuffle four, three, two, other way, shuffle. So I want you to bend your knees here, tuck in your core and move across the floor. Good, keep it up, side to side. Four more like this, three, two more, and last one. All right, let's go back to those lunges. So back to the middle of our mats, starting again with our left leg. In four, three, two, let's make it bigger. Here we go, deeper lunge. You should be more warmed up by now, so try to challenge yourselves and go down as far as you can. Good, really opening up the hips and the quadriceps, stretching out the hamstrings and strengthening the legs. Let's do eight, excellent, seven and six. Remember to tuck in your core. Last four right here, we lunge together. Three more, last two, arms up overhead, one. Shake it out. Let's go back to the left side of our mat. And now we're gonna shuffle. Here we go. Four, three, two, step. Other way. I want you to focus on your agility, your coordination, the quickness of your feet. And we're getting some cardio. Four, three, two, step. Other way. Four more. Three more. Last two. Last one. Great job. All right, that was our first block. Excellent work, everyone. Stay tuned, we are gonna be back with block number two. See you soon. All right, we're about to begin block number two. So we are gonna start off with some burpees. Now, if you need to modify your burpees, you don't have to jump into a plank. You can step out. And then when we jump up in the air, you can just come up on the balls of your feet. So here we go. You guys ready to do some burpees? Yeah. All right, so in five, six, five, six, seven, eight. We take it down into a plank, come up into a frog squat and jump. Again, down, plank, frog squat and jump. You wanna tuck in your core. You wanna bring your bottom down on that plank and just be really careful through every part of the move. You wanna get a full range of motion. You don't need to rush, take your time. All right, let's do two more. Plank, frog squat, jumper stand, one more and recover, good job. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do are some squats. So you wanna have your knees and toes about shoulder width apart, you wanna tuck in your core, and we're gonna come down and up. So I want you to get down as far as you can, like you're about to sit down into a chair. I want you to tuck your core in, squeeze your glutes, and kind of point your seat backward. Good job. So we really wanna strengthen the quads, Stretch out the hamstrings. Again, you use your, your quadriceps for a lot of different sports. So you wanna get them as strong as you can. Let's do eight more single squats. And then we're gonna do a power squat for anyone that wants to. This will add a little more cardio intensity. Four, three, get ready, two. So we're gonna squat with a jump. So here we go, we go down, up. So I want you to use your core to control your landing. So you wanna be light on your feet. You don't wanna come crashing down on the floor because that is going to be tough on your joints, especially your knees. So let's do eight, seven, keep breathing. Six, five, keep it up. Four, three, use your core, and one. All right, good job. So let's recover. We're gonna repeat those two exercises. So we're gonna go back to the burpees 
and then we'll do the squats and the power squats. So again, have your feet apart, tuck in your core, and here we go. Down, plank, frog, and jump. Excellent. Keep breathing. Remember not to hold your breath. Keep engaging that core. Four more. Excellent. Three. Last two. You're all doing great. Hang in there. One more. And up. Good job. All right. So let's go back into those squats. So feet apart. Core tucked in. And here we go. Down and up. Try to get deeper. Really challenge yourselves. This is great cardio conditioning, strength building, and you even get to work on your flexibility a little bit. Good, let's do eight more. Seven, keep it up. Six, you've got it. Five more. Four, three, get ready for those power squats, and one more. Here we go. Down, jump. Use that core once again. Control your landing. And let's finish this off. Eight more. Seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, arms up overhead, two, and one, and recover. All right, your heart rate should be up. You guys okay? Yeah. You should be starting to break a sweat. So grab a towel and some water and we will be back with our next block soon. See you soon. All right, we are about to begin block number three. So we are gonna start off with four jacks and then two squat jacks, okay? So get ready, feet together, and here we go. Jack for four, three, two, now two squat jacks. Down, together, down, together. Four jacks, arms overhead, and squat jack. Now, if you wanna modify, you don't have to jump with your feet apart like we are. You can go ahead, two squat jacks, and step out with one foot at a time. Let's do two more rounds. Four jacks. Good, now two squat jacks. Four jacks again, here we go. Four, three, two, squat jack. Down, together, down, together. And recover, all right. So the next move we're gonna do are skaters. So what you're gonna do is tuck in your core, you're gonna bring your leg behind you and hold it for a second in midair. And you're gonna do that on either side. Now, if you don't feel like you have the balance, you can step behind and tap the floor so that you're a little bit more stable, okay? All right, so here we go. In four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go step, step. Tuck in your core. Good, hold that leg out there if you can or tap that foot down. Use your upper body for support and momentum. Good, and tuck in that core a little bit deeper and try to go a little bit lower. Side to side. Let's do eight more, here we go. Eight and seven, keep going you guys. Six, you got it, four more. Skaters, three more, two, last one, and recover. All right, so we're gonna do those two exercises one more time for one more round. So we do the four jacks and the two squat jacks. Are you ready? Here we go, take it. Four, three, two, squat it out for two. Excellent, again, four, three, two, and squat. Good job. Remember to breathe. You should feel this cardio, two squats. Let's do two more rounds. So keep that heart rate up, two squats. Let's do one more round. Here we go for four, three, two. Jack it out, squat, and recover. All right, so one more round of skaters are next. So again, let's step behind, tap that toe if you need to for support. Get ready. Here we go. Skate. Side to side. I want you to get low and lateral here. So think about your training maybe for a sport or an event. Good. You've got the support of your family. Hopefully you're having some fun. Keep that heart rate up there. Keep pushing yourselves. Last eight. 
and seven. Push each other, two, six, five. You can do this. Four more. Three, keep it up, everyone. Two, last one, and recover. All right, so that completes block number three. Stay tuned for number four coming soon. Thanks, guys. All right, everyone, we are at block number four. So we are at the halfway point of our family fitness workout. So we are gonna take it to the floor. So if you have an exercise mat, now is the time to use it. We're gonna come down on our knees and we're gonna start with some push-ups. Now your push-ups could be done on your feet and your hands, but if you need to modify, you can always do them on your knees. So feel free to do that if you need it. The goal is to get your chest to the floor and use your whole body. All right, so our hands and feet or knees are shoulder width apart. We're gonna tuck in our core, bring your bottom down, have a nice straight line, and we're gonna do eight of them. Here we go. Eight and seven. Really tuck in that core. Good job, everyone. Let's do four more. Three, keep it up. Two, and last one. And come on up, take a little break. Feel free to shake out your wrist, shake out your arms. And now we're gonna go into mountain climbers to pick our heart rate up a little bit more. So you're gonna come back to your hands and your feet. And with mountain climbers, if everyone can do them um, on their feet, that would be ideal. If you don't want to jump or run, just bring one knee into your chest at a time. All right, here we go, let's go. Left and right, let's tuck in the core. Keep your bottoms down. All 10 fingers are on the mat. And we're starting to pick up the pace here. Keep it going, you guys. Bring those knees up to your chest. And let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, and one. Come back down to your knees, catch your breath and recover. Good job. So what we're gonna do next is repeat both sets of exercises. So back into the push-ups and then the mountain climbers. So again, knees or feet are fine. We're gonna do one more set of eight. So get ready, get into position. And here we go. Here's eight, seven, stay strong. Six, use your whole body, five. You can do it, you guys, four more. Three, stay with me, two, last one. And recover. All right, shake it out. Get your heart rates ready and geared up for one more set of mountain climbers. So on your hands, on your feet, get ready. Here we go. Bring those knees up to your chest. Let's get the heart rate up a little bit more. Really pull that navel into the spine. Keep moving, you guys. Give me your best set yet. And let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! And we made it through block number four. Great job, everybody. Stay tuned, we're coming in with block number five next. See you soon. All right, we are in block number five. So we're gonna take it back down to our mats and we are gonna do bear crawls. Now these are challenging, I'm not gonna lie. So you can either do them on your hands and feet or if you need to take it down to your knees, that's perfectly fine. So definitely modify and take this at your own pace. All right, you ready? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is come to the front of our mats, top of our mats. We're gonna come down to all fours and we're gonna start with our left foot and our right hand. So you wanna do opposite so you get a little more stability. We're gonna come up for four and back for four. So get ready, here we go. We're gonna come up, two, three, four, and then back, two, three, four. Now you wanna tuck in your core, two, three, four, and then go back. You wanna stay as close to the ground as you can. So like a bear, you wanna really tuck in tight, stay close to that ground, and come forward. Let's do two more rounds. One, two, three, four. Come on back. Two, three, one more time. Great job, you guys. Keep moving and take it back and recover. Good job. So feel free to come to your knees. You can shake out your arms, your wrists, if your wrists were hurting at all. What we're gonna do next are back extensions. Now for both kids and adults, we tend to not strengthen our backs as much, but that's also really important to help protect the back from injury. So we're gonna use our core and we're gonna come down and we're gonna have our hands and legs out and we're gonna do back extensions, otherwise known as the Superman or the Superwoman. So get ready. So you're gonna lift all four up and down. Lift and lower. So tuck in your core. 
You want to squeeze your glutes and you want to feel your shoulder blades working, your back working, good, and your legs. Now to modify, you could also leave your legs on the floor and just lift your upper body. Let's do eight, seven, six, good job you guys, five, four, keep it up, three, two more, and last one. And feel free, if you want to stretch in child's pose, you can, or you can just kind of come up and just shake out your arms and legs. It's up to you. Okay, we're gonna go back into bear crawls. So back onto all fours. So on your hands and feet or your hands and knees. And remember, we go up for four and back for four. Here we go. So take it up, two, three, four, and then back. Two, three, four. Take it up again. Remember to keep everything tight. Keep your core tucked in. Good, and use your upper body and your lower body strength. This is a total body exercise here. One more time up, last time guys. Give it your all, stay tough mentally and physically, and come down. Good job, shake out your wrists a little bit, and now let's take it down to the ground again on your mat. Belly's facing down, arms and legs out, and here we go, back extensions. Just remember not to hyper extend your back. So you wanna keep your spine neutral and your back flat. Remember your legs don't have to come up if you wanna modify. Last eight, seven, six, keep breathing. Five, really tuck in the core. Four more, you guys, give me your all. Three, you've got it, two, last one. And recover. All right. That completes block number five. Stay with us, we're almost done. Block number six is next. Thanks guys. All right, you guys, we made it to our last block. This is block number six, so get ready. I want you guys to give me your all. And here we go, we're gonna take it down to our mats one more time, and we're gonna do some plank jacks. Now, I'm gonna show you two ways to do them. If you need to modify, you don't need to jump with your feet apart. You can step out from the middle with one foot at a time. So it's up to you, listen to your body, and um, do whatever feels most comfortable. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna start on uh, um, our hands and on our feet. So you're in a high plank, your feet are together. You wanna to make sure that your bottom is down and your core is tucked in. So if somebody were to look at you from the side, you'd have mostly a straight line. And here we go, we're gonna jump out together, out together. Or you can step out with one foot at a time, like this. So pick whatever works for you. You wanna be easy on your joints by using your core. So let's do another eight right here, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. You can drop to your knees. Take a little breather, catch your breath, give your wrists a little break. So we're gonna do another form of a plank, but this time we're gonna do a low plank on our elbows, and we're just gonna go into plank holds. Now you can modify by staying on your knees and keeping a flat back and a neutral spine, or you can come up on your feet. So I want you to again straighten out, Think about your form, squeeze your glutes, tuck your navel into your spine, and I want you to start to hold and use your upper body, use your core, use your legs. So all the different muscle groups in our bodies are working together here. This is another total body exercise. If you're shaking, that is normal. That means you're challenging yourself to the next level. So let's hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, just two more, and one. Drop it down. Feel free to stretch if you wanna get into like a baby cobra or a full cobra, or if you wanna just come on up. Okay, so we're gonna do one more round of plank jacks and plank holds. So get your hands about shoulder width apart. Again, feet together or on. Um, you're gonna step out from one side to the next, from the center, or jump. So get ready, here we go. Take it out and in. Keep breathing. Keep your bottoms down as much as you can. Let's finish this off. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Okay, you guys, one last move for our workout before the cool down. Plank holds, I want you to really think about your mental strength as much as your physical strength. So come to your elbows. 
Come back to your knees or the balls of your feet. Again, straighten out and go ahead and start to hold. I want you to focus on your breath as well as we're holding. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Try to think about your form. And sometimes if you wanna think about something other than what you're doing, that kind of helps you to not focus on getting fatigued. So I want you to really keep that energy up and just hold for eight, seven, almost there. Six, five, four, stay with me. Three, almost there, two, and one. Drop it down. Whew. All right, you guys, you made it to the end of the workout. I'm so proud of all of you, and I'm proud of all of you. So go ahead, grab a drink of water, and get ready for our cool down and stretch. Thank you so much. All right, we made it to the end of the workout, and now we're at the best part, which is the cool down and stretch, which is also very important. I know a lot of times people skip the cool down and stretch, but you wanna really stretch your muscles after all that work. So we're gonna begin with our left leg, and we're gonna bring our knee up to our chest. So you wanna tuck in your core for balance and really stretch out your hips, and then go to the other side. So just take it at your own pace, bring that knee to the chest, and really stretch it out, stretch out those hips. And let's just do two more. Stand tall, and last time. And now we're gonna go into some lunges. So feel free to shake out your legs. We're gonna start with our left. So we're gonna go into the lunge that we did in the beginning of the workout, but we're gonna hold this time in a static stretch. So you wanna make sure that your front knee is staying behind your toes. Your arms are up, really stretching your torso and arms, and that back knee is dropping towards the floor. And then you're gonna bring your feet together and we're gonna to go to the other side. So drop that leg back. Again, open up the hips, tuck in your core. Keep those arms overhead and then shake it out. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna bring one foot over the other knee. So this is a little bit of a balance challenge. You're gonna flex out your foot and you're just gonna clasp your hands together and act as if you're about to sit down. So this is a great stretch for your inner thighs, your glutes your hamstrings, your hip flexors a little bit. So you kind of want to sit into that stretch. And then we're going to switch. So flex out the other foot, bring that foot over the opposite knee, press your hands together just for balance, engage your core, and just hold in the stretch. Great job. And shake it out. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring our feet about a little wider than shoulder width apart. And I just want you to kind of stretch one arm over. So you wanna stretch out your side body. You can come down as far as you would like, but just keep your torso upward, keep your chest lifted and hold. And then we're gonna take it over to the other side. So reach, really get that side body to stretch. Good job. And shake it out. Okay, from here, we're gonna actually turn on our mats and go into a runner stretch. So you're gonna come down to all fours. We're gonna start with our left leg. You're just bringing that leg back and go into that runner stretch. Make sure your front knee is still behind your toes. If you need to drop that back knee to the floor, you can as well. And just hold in the stretch. And then bring that back foot into the front foot and switch. Bring that other leg back. Good. Try to straighten out your leg as much as you can or drop the knee if you need to. Good. And then bring that back foot into the front. And then shake it out and turn and face forward. And we're just going to finish off with some deep breaths. We're going to bring our arms up overhead. You can rise up on the balls of your feet to really stretch out your calf muscles and a little bit in your IT band as well. So here we go. We're going to come up. Inhale and exhale. Drop it down. Again, up and down. Let's do three more. Big deep breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Two more, and your very last one. Arms up and down. That was so much fun. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Awesome. Be sure to subscribe to the Passion Fit YouTube channel, and remember to like and comment and share with your family and friends. From our family to yours, we want to wish you a great day, and we hope to work out with you again very soon. Take care. Bye, guys. All right, good job, you guys. Awesome. <laughs> See you soon.